Welcome back to Plan B on YouTube. So what's up with this weird sideways bull market? Is it manipulation? Is it something else? Let's discuss this first chart. And uh, you know, Bitcoin closed September at 63,000 and it's the eighth month in a row that it's in a 60K to 70K trading range. It's really weird uh, and it never happened before normally the bull markets, yes, it is still in a bull market because it's red, red dot, bull market. And normally a bull market means price go up. Historically, when it's red, when it's bull market, prices went up in 2011, 2013, 2017, and 2020, 2021. But not now. Now it's sideways. And, well, you know, I... I do not believe in, ma in manipulation. Yes, it can be manipulation, but not for eight months. That's something different at work, I think. So another explanation could be that we had a too early pre-halving pump because of the ETFs. And uh, the halving was somewhere here around April. And we had a, we even had a all-time high, a new all-time high before the halving. Uh, which had never happened before. But basically, we pumped from the bottom um, around 20K to 40K, 60K, 73K. And, and, and that is something that's unusual because normally the accumulation phases are quite stable or rising, but not that fast. Uh, so yeah, that, that could be it. Um, a pre-halving too early pump uh, but surely and, and surely you know it, it would have felt different if we had an increase that that would go gradually from this 20k to 63k instead of this jump here this etf jump and then flat for eight months with which feels weird but uh, the same result with a gradual increase would have felt a lot different although the end outcome would be exactly the same so what can we see in the moving average chart? In the moving average chart is, uh, well, it shows the same thing. It has this, this eight month of flat period here. Note, by the way, that the color is different in the moving average chart. It's months until the next halving, not the, the phase we're in, not the bull bear market. It's just a timer and the halving is at uh, month zero. So uh, when blue, switches to red so this is a halving in 2016 this is one in 2020 and this is the latest in uh, 2024 and well as we can see there was a flat period in 2015 as well uh, quite long more than half a year i think it's also eight months here uh, but that was a bear market of course uh, at at around uh, 250k um, more comparable, I think, is this flat period here in 2019-2020. Uh, that's around $10,000, little under $10,000. Uh, and uh, and also um, a, ha a period with a halving in there. So that, that's very comparable, I think, to we are where we are right now. Because um, we, we, back then we also had this pre-halving too early pump. And then COVID, that, that, that really uh, spoiled the party. But it was basically a one-month uh, event in the end because the, the money printer went on, the QE was started, and then that was the trigger for the, for the entire bull market. Of course, Michael Saylor uh, uh, it started uh, buying Bitcoin here, and, and later Elon Musk. Um, went positive on, on Bitcoin, but that was that was sort of the trigger. And it's a bit of the same period, same pre-halving pump situation above the moving average. So this black line, of course, is, is the moving average. And uh, we use it to smooth out the noise. Um, so right now it's it's 40K and, and Bitcoin it, for the entire eight months flat period is above that that 200 week moving average same here in 2019 2020 
So yeah, um, moving average is increasing, just like back then, it's still increasing. So as long as it's increasing, it's okay, in my opinion. Um, and Bitcoin will find its trigger for the next pump. And I have heard that many large buyers are just waiting for the US elections in November. And that makes sense because why run the risk if you can wait a couple of weeks and have total clarity um, and, and, and certainty? And the risk obviously being uh, a democratic Biden-Harris win, which is, which is bad for Bitcoin. So Wales waiting for the US elections could very well be the reason for this eight month sideways price movement. Just one explanation. So if we look at RSI, the relative strength index, this chart looks a little bit different uh, because I added this moving average, 12 month moving average in there. And the background has this uh, black line in the middle at 65, which is about the average RSI through the history of Bitcoin. And the bear and bull markets dance around this black line. So right now, the uh, RSI is 63. So very close to this average of 65, this black line. And what we see is that um, this moving average, again, smooths out all the noise. And for example, here, it was a very clean period where the, the actual RSI numbers followed the moving average, uh, tracked the moving average, I should say, quite well. But here in 2013, this, this bull market was quite noisy. And uh, the, the, the moving average tracks right through it. But there's, uh, there's months way above this, this, this moving average and months uh, way below. And the same is true, for example, for 2019 and 2020. And we talked about this period uh, before uh, at, at the moving average uh, sheet. And we see it's very noisy there. We had this pre-halving uh, pump too early, and then a correction. And then, of course, COVID as a kind of well black swan, uh, which really put a dent even in the moving average. But... The moving average kept rising and rising and then here in the bull market it's it's all on track again and actually see the same thing right now um back then it, it felt like front running in 2019 front running the halving that was all uh, talk about about the halving and and, and stock to flow of course which was published here uh so the, the there was talk about front running. We have that same talk about front running right now um, with the ETFs where retail had the opportunity to front run Wall Street uh, for the first time. So we had this too early before the halving uh, pump. And then of course there was this dump uh, after the halving because of government selling, Mount Gox selling, uh, but all in all, moving average was pretty pretty stable um, and rising. So, in my opinion, um, the flat bull market that we see in the price can be just optics, a trend, a trend, a rising trend disguised by noise and mixed signal. Because if this were a gradual growth from all the way from from fifteen to the current 63,000 Bitcoin price, then the RSI would be uh, not this noisy and, uh, and we would be not that confused about, about this, this uh, sideways Bitcoin price. Next chart. And now it becomes really interesting. This is the Bitcoin realized price. So that's like the average cost price of Bitcoin and there's three realized prices in this chart. The realized price that looks at the whole history, price history, is uh, 32,000 at the moment and rising. The two-year realized price that only looks at the last two year and, and the Bitcoins that were 
bought in those two years. The cost price of those Bitcoins is at uh, 51,000 um, at the end of September and rising. And the very short term, five month realized price, the light blue, light blue line is at 63 and rising. Well, it's it's sort of flat, but last month it, it did rise a little bit. So um, I tweeted about this earlier and I said, uh, maybe you remember it, Bitcoin is the next stable coin, is now a stable coin because of this eight month flat period. And I also tweeted 60,000 is the new 10,000. Why did I tweet that? Because this 2019 2020 period that we talked about before in the moving average chart and the RSI chart, um, it, it felt exactly the same like right now. It felt like boring, flatline, uh, there will never be a bull market again, stock to flow failed, uh, Bitcoin is dead, whatever. <laughs> Actually, if you go further back, uh, we had that same boring uh, periods in 2014 to 2016 at a much lower level of course it was uh, about 400 500 at the time and even uh, before that in 2012 there was a period where bitcoin and, and also in the bear market of course but where the where that that flat period was uh, make making people think like there would, there would never be a bull market again and yeah, this, this is basically my opinion about this flat bull market at the moment. I think Bitcoin is most of the time in a boring flatline situation. And uh, in fact, three of the four years are boring and nothing. And just sh some very short periods just after the halving. Um, cause those big jumps in price, those big fundamental and structural jumps in price. Fundamental and structural because Bitcoin jumps up and does not return. Of course, there is a crash uh, after a big pump every time, um, but it will never return to that original level. And uh, yeah, well, so in fact it's 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 just a matter of some patience and there's even it, it's even so common that uh, that, that there is a um, a meme of this but we will get to that later but this stepwise function of a long wait and then a short pump after the halving long wait halving pump long wait we just had this halving that of course is the very basis the core of the stock to flow model non-linear stepwise and after the halving fundamental uh, growth that yeah that that is the signature of the four-year cycle and the meme that comes with that is come on bitcoin do something and that's a very old meme by the way so it's still valued and, and true today and uh, so in my opinion, the trading range is quite normal, the trading range that we're in right now, and patience is needed. So in my opinion, the pump will come at, uh, well, the time that Bitcoin thinks it's right. Thank you very much and see you next time.